There are times that you have to medicate your rat. Now some people choose to mix medication in with various foods and put the rat into the container so that it will eat the food. But the best way to be sure that it's eating what it should be eating is to syringe the medicine into the rat's mouth. Now there are two types of syringes you can get. There's this type, which has got the needle on it. And there's this type that doesn't. If I show you the difference out of the packets. This is the one your vet would normally give you, or you can get from the site. This is the type that you may be more used to seeing at hospitals and things. These come with a sharp hypodermic needle, which you don't need. So if you're given one of these syringes, carefully remove it like that. And what you have is the same thing that your vet would give you. The difference in size, this is a 2 millimeter, two milliliter syringe, this is a 1 mil syringe. Uh, normally with rats you'd use the smaller one because you don't need to get quite so much in. It's easier to see how much you're getting off on a smaller syringe than there is on a larger one. So we'll use this bottle of medicine that you may well get from your vets. Now there's nothing wrong with this rat so we've made up some apple juice but I've also put some grapefruit seed extract in which is quite bitter it's fine for the rat, very good for the rat but just so you you know, don't think I'm just trying it with some nice tasty food because the medication you give your rat is likely to be quite bitter pop the syringe in draw up what you need to draw for instance you can see on here can you see the markings? No, it's not. It won't go focus. Well, do it further back then. There are little numbers all the way down here. And then you get what you need. So, for instance, let's pretend I need 0.3 millilitres, which would be a good dose of baitrol for a big rat like Chef here. I'm just going to pop that down. Get Chef. Come here, you. Now, some rats wiggle more, and I have to be honest, I've never given this one medication yet before so it'll be interesting to see whether he's going to be compliant or whether he's going to be a pain in the bum <laughs> syringe <laughs> he's squeaking so I don't think he's, you think he knows what's coming corner of the mouth in with a syringe till you get behind those big teeth because these teeth here you can't get the syringe in straight forward you need to get it behind the back teeth but don't just put it behind the teeth that way because all you'll do is syringe yourself with loads and loads of bait trill or in this case apple juice. So syringe in behind the teeth, straight down, it's gone. So he has now had his medicine. And I'll show you again if he's happy to take it. If not, now he knows what's coming, he may, may fight a little bit more. Another 0.2 millilitres. Oh, one rat. <laughs> Who's a shoulder rat? Just so that you know. The other way is you can tip him over. If you can see like that. Syringe in. Right, he actually dribbled a fair bit of that out. So if that was bait trill, I would be giving him another 0.1 mil again just to make sure that he's had what he should be having. That's it, make a big fuss of him, tell him he's a good boy. Until the next lot of uh, Baytro or whatever you need to give him later in the day, that's it, he's all done. You could give him a yoghurt drop or some, some sort of treat just so that he gets used to it. And that's as simple as it is to medicate your rat.